Florida State and Georgia Tech taking starting the college football season out in Ireland. Let's take a look at that preview. Yeah. The fanatic, but we keep it 100, keep it real. That's the only way we know how to be. Talking that sports talk, you know what I'm saying? Straight out of South Carolina, upstate, A64. Yeah. yeah, the F A N A T T I C, the fanatic, where we keep it OG. We talking sports, so I call what I see. Welcome into another episode of the fanatic on the fanatic sports network. It's your boy, Coach I. That's right, man. It's almost football season. We we single digit days away from week zero when Florida State take on Georgia Tech. Listen, man, if you're new to the channel, we talk college football all the time. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, uh, we appreciate you. We appreciate you if you're not a subscriber, man, just for coming to view the content. But if you are, uh, you've been following the channel, man, you know I did some team previews uh, in the off season for their for each team's season preview. And now it's time to get in some of these game previews, man. Again, game week is right around the corner, man. And we got these two teams flying across the, 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 the international waters and, and playing each other over in Ireland, man. Now, before we get started, man, again, if you're not a subscriber, you know, go ahead and give us a shot, man. You can become a member as well. It's only $1.99. You get a badge for live stream besides your name. You get emojis, custom emojis if you're the member of the month. And you also get access to our Discord where you can come in, talk trash, have a little fun with other college football fans. Also, man, you see this episode is brought to you by SeatGeek. SeatGeek, man, if you're going to the games, you might as well try to get the ticket on SeatGeek. Use promo code Fanatic Sports. That's right. And you get $20 off your first purchase. So if you're going to buy the ticket anyway, why not save $20? All right, man. It's time to talk Georgia Tech, Florida State. Listen, I actually think this is one of the more intriguing, you know, matchups in the beginning of the uh, the college football season. For one, because it is in Ireland. But for two, it's a conference matchup to start it out. We've got this new year where it's 12 teams. I mean, to guarantee a spot in it, and we have never been able to guarantee a spot in the uh, college football playoffs, uh, but now guaranteed is the top four, uh, top five, I'm sorry, top five uh, conference champions will make it in. So if you win the ACC, then you, you're in. And if you don't win the ACC, you got a chance to make it in with, uh, you know, the at-large spot. So this game is going to say a lot for that. Um, you know, just to start it out, man, a recap of 2023, Listen, uh, Florida State, we all know what they did in 2023, having an amazing a regular season, going undefeated, winning the ACC championship. You know, even, you know, the down the stretch with Jordan Travis Hurt, they still was able to pull out the ACC championship victory. Uh, got left out of the playoffs, even though they earned it. Whether, you know, whether the committee thought they were the deserving team, uh, they earned it. They earned it on the field. So, you know, they end up uh, playing in the bowl game against Georgia. You know, not having a lot of players at all, you know, starters, I should say, uh, and key contributors uh, participate in that game. And then with Georgia Tech, Georgia Tech actually took a step forward. In 2022, they had like one of the worst offensive lines, I want to say, in the nation. And they definitely, uh, you know, were better last year. They ended up going to a bowl game and uh, winning the bowl game against UCF. Uh, you know, their offense was had a good rushing attack. They gave Georgia all they wanted at the end of the season. Um, you know, they st I want to say they started out two and three, but finished the year, you know, the last eight games was five and three. So they had a little momentum going into the off season, man. So now we're here in 2024 and we want to see what these two teams look alike against each other. Now, first we want to look at the FSU offense versus the Georgia Tech defense. Now, FSU last year, especially when Jordan Travis was healthy, was one of the better offenses in the nation. And I would definitely say the best offense in the ACC. Uh, once he got hurt, it was a little bit different. Jordan Travis was a different maker. But this year, they bring in a, a, another experienced quarterback from the portal in DJU. Uh, I don't think he's Jordan Travis, you know, the way he played, but he's definitely got a lot of experience. Um, they, Florida State returns four starters on offense and about 56% of their production. Uh, and they lose a couple of their running backs, but they return to a Feely. They add Roydell Williams from the portal. That was a big get. Roydell Williams, you know, had limited carries early in his career, got a little bit bigger role last year and produced on the field. They got a very competent running back from Indiana and Jalen Lucas. So I definitely think that running back room is going to have to – so to say, carry the load at the beginning. Their offensive line is a plus. I think they lost two people, but they added 
like two or three guys from the portal that that are uh you know seniors got a lot of experience the question is on the outside and it's not talent it's definitely not talent like there's two ways to look at florida state's wide receiver room uh you look at the experience the four people that you know i look to have the most impact three of which you know uh played for florida state last year and jakai douglas Ketron Port, uh, Portier, if I'm saying that right, uh, and Hakeem Williams. And then you add Malik Benson from B Bama. Now, none of those guys had over 14 receptions in any season. Um, uh, Hakeem Williams being the true freshman last year, of course, he didn't have a huge role, but I think he's super talented, um, you know, a super talented receiver. But that's the, I guess you would say the downside looking at it from the experience side. But if you look at the production side, when they did catch the ball, all of these guys averaged at least 12 yards or better. Malik Benson being the one that averaged 12 yards. I mean, Hakeem Williams averaged 16 yards a catch. Kevin Portier, uh, Ketron, sorry, Ketron, in each of the last two seasons, each time he caught the ball, he averaged over 20 yards a catch. And Ja'Kai Douglas, I mean, being very explosive, we saw we saw a little bit of that against Georgia as well. Um, 17.4 average. So when they get the ball, they're very productive. It's just the game experience, the snaps, and not even just the snaps, but the receptions, the the touches, I would say. Um, this That's the question for me on this Florida State offense because DJU seems to always go into a situation where he doesn't have a whole bunch of experience at receiver. Good thing is, I think they're talented, but that'll be the thing to look out for. Now, on Georgia Tech's defense, they returned four starters, 49% of that production. It's not like they were world beaters last year. So this will be an interesting matchup because I think Georgia Tech's defense and Florida State's offense, if if there's if we're going to call you know one side of the ball the weak point, I think this is week on week. It's Florida State because I think Florida State's defense is the strong point of the team. Now, that's just me. Again, the running game is going to be good for Florida State. I want to see how that passing game, you know, uh, turns out uh, because with DJU, again, he, he seemed he did improve in some areas when going to Oregon State. He had less pass attempts at Oregon State, but he threw for 100 more yards than he did his last year at Clemson. But his completion percentage dropped. His touchdown and interception ratio was pretty much the same. I want to say it was like uh, 22 and seven at Clemson and 21 and seven at, uh, Oregon state or vice versa. So, you know, it was like almost like kind of similar production. We'll see what he can do under Norvell's tutelage this year with those receivers on the outside. Again, the experience is what is a concern for me on that outside, but matching up against Georgia takes four st starters on defense, returning stars on defense. I don't know if, um, you know, that's going to be a huge problem now in reverse. With, if you look at the other side of the ball, I think this is strength on strength. <laughs> I think right here, you got Georgia Tech's offense is definitely the strength of their team against Florida State's defense, which is definitely the strength of their team. I mean, if you look at Florida State on defense, man, I mean, you got guys at every level. You got DJ Lundy, you got Patrick Payton, you got Patrick Payton up front, you got DJ Lundy at linebacker, you got Fentrell Cypress back for another year. And then you add, I mean, and not just those guys, you got uh, Jackson up front with Payton on that D line. Um, and then you add some really good guys from the portal. I mean, Marvin Jones Jr., the edge rusher from UGA, uh, Earl Little, corner corner from uh, Bama. You got Omar and Cooper, who I actually thought played pretty good at Colorado in, in uh, limited duty, I would say. Um, and Cam Riley, the 6'5 linebacker from Auburn. So I think the defense for Florida State is going to be just fine. Now, will it be like it was last year? I'm not saying it's going to be that, you know, elite but i don't think there's going to be a huge drop off there but they're on in turn going against the georgia tech offense who is which is their strength they you know they return eight starters on the georgia tech offense eight starters uh four on the offensive line and the one offensive lineman they lost they replaced him or at least expected they replaced uh expected to replace him with the uh middle tennessee transfer keelan rutledge who was an all-conference usa uh guard so in essence Georgia Tech's line could have gotten better, to be honest with you. They led the ACC in rushing. Q, uh, Haynes King at quarterback, he helped out with that almost 800 yards on the ground. You had Jamal Haynes run for over 1,000. Now, again, kind of like Florida State, both offenses, Florida State and Georgia Tech, the rushing game is going to kind of hold it down, I would say. Um, with the passing attack, 
definitely Georgia Tech's passing attack leaves something to be desired. They uh, return two of their top three wide receivers in Don Blaylock, and I guess I say top three, but technically Don Blaylock had more yards than Christian Leary, but Christian Leary had more receptions than Dom. So really, you could actually say they return all three of their top receivers if you're talking about receptions. Now, they did lose three receivers to the portal, so I think, but none of those receivers were key players, but I think that hurts depth. Um, they did, listen, Buck, uh, Buster Faulkner, what used to be on the offensive staff at Georgia, last year was his first year at Georgia Tech as the OC, and I mean, he brought in Brett Seether last year from Georgia at tight end, and this year he followed suit. Brett Seether will be coming back for his senior year, and redshirt senior year, and Ryan, Ryland Godey at tight end from Georgia transfer. So they definitely got a pretty good tight end room, but they're going up against a really stout defense. Now, with all that said, man, let's get on to some game predictions. So, and some keys. Vegas got this game, if I'm not mistaken, at 11 and a half. Florida State is 11 and a half favorite. Um, definitely because of Florida, what the talent that Florida State has, I definitely can see that. The key I think here is what I mentioned earlier. You got strength on strength and you got week on week. Can um, Georgia Tech's offense uh, align, hold up against Florida State's defense line? I think that's going to be kind of, I think it's going to be kind of a stalemate, to be honest with you. I think Florida State's going to win some battles and I think Georgia Tech's going to win some battles. Now, if Florida State is able to slow down the run game for Georgia Tech, that's where, you know, uh, Georgia Tech's going to struggle. But, can a receiver or a tight end for Georgia Tech make a difference, you know, in this game? And then on the reverse side, in, in Florida State, has DJU improved? Will he be the same DJU he was at 20, you know, in 2022 at Clemson and 2023 at Oregon State? If so, I mean, uh, I don't know. Georgia Tech's defense might not have to do much. Georgia Tech's defense didn't get after the passer uh, very much last year, but their D line was pretty decent against the run. Again, like I said, if you watch the Georgia game, I like to compare like what you did against the elite talent. If you watch the Georgia game for the Georgia Tech team, I know it's a rival, but hey, they were able to you know slow the offense down a little bit, uh, at least enough to keep it within seven for the final score. So I think uh, you know that's a key too, man. Can um, can Georgia Tech's defense you know kind of stifle DJU and some of these you know inexperienced, like I say, receivers? Um, they're talented, but not a lot of catches. So now with that 11 and a half point uh, spread, I think I'm going to pick Florida State to win the game, but I'm taking Georgia Tech in the points. I think Georgia Tech covers this. Uh, I think it'll be a offensive game uh, as far as like, uh, you know, Georgia Tech being able to score. And I think Florida State will be able to move the ball because I don't think Georgia Tech's defense is their strong point. So a big play on defense from, from Florida State will, you know, somehow, you know, separate them from Georgia Tech. But I think Georgia Tech keeps it within the 11 and a half. If you're a Florida State or Georgia Tech fan, get in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, what do you have as far as the game prediction and keys? What are you worried about? And uh, listen, man, I think this is going to be a really good game. Again, I don't think I don't think uh, Florida State is going to pull off from Georgia Tech. I think Georgia Tech is going to give them a really good battle. So let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Share it with somebody. Till next time, it's your boy Coach Say We got it jumping like it's that valley. I call my dogs out the pound. Let's go eat. Turn on the fan at it. Let's have a debate. Who really hold down the southeast from state to state? What team hungry gonna eat everything up off they plate?